Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It has been a while um, since I've did a haul, but because, you know, at the minute there's no point me doing a haul because I'm growing out of clothes like no tomorrow. Like, look at the size of this bumper so far, guys. It doesn't look that big, but it feels like compared to what I was. So really, my clothes at the minute are anything stretchy, comfy, not that exciting really but because we have got a baby on the way i thought i would do a baby haul so i think the last time i did a haul was a sheen haul but that was for me slash the baby where well, this isn't really just going to be all baby stuff and uh, from it's mostly from tk max jd um and i'm also going to open up the sterilizing machine with you because this has just arrived today and um, there's a couple of things in here so i thought We'll open it up together, see what it's like, see what the situation is, and I'm going to show you all the baby stuff. So, before we get into this haul, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Any video suggestions, you know, leave them down below. And let's get straight into the video. So, I'm going to start off with this bag. And yeah, it's not all from TK Maxx. We've just shoved all the baby stuff in all the bags here, there and everywhere. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm so out of breath. Anyone else? When they're pregnant, I'm 24 weeks and two days. When you're pregnant, do you feel like everything's such hard work? Like walking up the stairs, your knees, your hands, everything just feels so much heavier than normal. So when you try and do anything, you get out of breath more because you feel like you're using more energy. Like, that's me at the minute. And I feel like I want to do a task. I feel like I need a nap after it. So I've been trying to sort out the room behind us to try and tidy it up a bit. Because Tony is sorting out the nursery this weekend. Well, he's meant to be. Unless some kind of sport comes on the TV, that's the only thing that's going to affect him um, doing that room. So hopefully there's no sport on this weekend because then that room will eventually get done. He told us not to make plans for the next four weekends so you can get it done. So hopefully he doesn't end up going to work or something because something always ends up turning up. He's got a Newcastle game or it's F1 weekend or it was his birthday weekend which is fair enough or he has to go to a wedding or he has to go meet his friends. Like this room is never going to get done. He always has some kind of reason. Anyways, back to the haul. So the first thing we have got is a little track suit. So I just thought this was dead cute. Imagine a little track suit with little shoes on with a little body warmer. So we've got, that is the top, a little jumper thing. Well, cute, look, the little buttons on the side. Don't actually know what they're for, but I'll figure it out. So yeah, there, that is the top. And then for the pants, sorry about that, I had to remove storage from this phone once again. Anyone else feel like no matter how much storage you get on your phone, you'll have the same amount of apps, but then the same, it still uses your full storage. So I had a 64 gig and I had that same apps as I do now on this phone. And this storage is full as well. So. This one's 128 and the storage is still full of them out of the same apps as the one that was 64 gigs. So I don't get it. I feel like you spend more money on storage, but it makes no difference because, yeah, your phone just doesn't, like, it just takes up all the storage. You know, you have nothing on your phone. I've got literally no apps on my phone because of the storage situation. And it's still saying I've got full storage, but I'm like, how's that? I've got no apps. I've got Facebook and Messenger in YouTube and even then I still have to delete the apps to make videos so how have I got I, I just I, I really don't get it anyways back to the video before it cuts off so these are the trousers for the matching the matching jumper so this is the first outfit that we bought we also do get another track suit uh, we've got a under armor so they're the joggers and then we've got the nice jumper to match it which is super cute you can tell these are Tony's type style to put the baby in. So these were not three months, so that's there. Tony did choose this for when we leave the hospital or for when he's born. I'm not too sure which one he wants. It's an eight piece from TK Maxx. So you get the little 
the comforter, the teddy bear thing with the blanket. You get a baby babe, you get the socks, you get the mittens, uh, you get the vest underneath as well as the baby grow over it. So you get everything in it and I think it was only like £12 or something like that. It's absolutely cute but Tony obviously, he thought it would be a good idea to take the baby home in that and it's all together. I know I need to wash it but plenty of time. Also got a cute little blanket for when we leave or when we're in hospital. Just a cute little giraffe one. I do want one with his name on, but haven't found any I like yet. Um, I got a little woolly hat. This is from, where is this from? This is from Nutmeg Baby. So we've got the little fluffy hat with the mittens along with it. And this was only a fiver. Absolute bargain. Well, cute. Uh, boring. We've got some baby body suits. Uh, we've got some milk powder dispensers uh, for when we'll go out on nighttime feeds. We are using a rapid nude to feed the baby with because obviously I heard that is the best way to feed the baby and you can make bottles within a minute. You don't need to stress about pre making and anything like that. So we do have the rapid nude. That is what we're going to use. Uh, because we're a bit funny with the prep machine because obviously I know some people complain about the lime scale and things like that where the rapid nude are literally flasks. Kind of go wrong with it. So yeah. Next thing we have got, this is three to six months, so you get the joggers, a uh, body warmer, and then the top, that says, what does it say, adventure checklist, snacks, best friend, good vibes. And this was from, I believe this was from Tesco's, yeah, this was from Tesco's, this was £18. I just thought that was well cute, well, mum thought it was cute because she was only boy. But that one is three to six months, so that one is a while yet. Um, and these are from Next. I actually got these from Vintage. Someone was selling them for a pound. And just like these little teddy bear cardigans. Little teddy bear ears from Next. Uh, what size is these? I'm not quite sure. But I got a grey one. And I also did. I got the white one as well. Because she had two different colours. So I just thought that was probably cute. If you just want to, you know, put a bodysuit on. And then chuck this over it. It would make that outfit look dead cute. We've also got another tracksuit. Uh, this one's not a six months, so is it? So that is the jumper with a little hood, and then obviously the matching tracksuit bottoms, which are well cute as well. They look so small on the side. And um, we've also got obviously it's a straight of six months, but it was the only size I had, and it was Dalmatian, so I had to pick it up because if you don't know, I do have a Dalmatian. Um, so this one is a five set piece, so you, also, you get the bodysuit, you get the vest, you get the bib, you get a hat and you get little scratch mittens. And that one was from TK Maxx and that was for £11.99. I just love it, it is super cute. So I got that. Basically I pick up anything that looks cute. Um, I got a dressing gown from TK Maxx as well, this was £7.99, this is not a three months. This is a bathrobe for the baby, or oh, not a nine month, sorry. And it's a little giraffe, like how cute is that? That is well cute. This is a little bathrobe for when he has a bath, he comes out the bath like, oh. Who doesn't love a baby bathrobe? Next bag, bag number two, I hope I have in the storage on my phone for all this. Uh, so this my mum's friend actually got um, um, at the time we didn't know the gender. Uh, so this is just three to six months, it's just a plain uh, white outfit with a spotted, what do you call it, a vest underneath and a white rabbit dog greys with little feet. Yeah, basically she bought this when we didn't know the gender but it's fine. We'll probably be in the house most of the time anyways. And um, we've got a pack of sleeping suits, another pack, you kind of go around with boring sleeping suits so you don't need to see them. And we've got these little Nike um, on the sleeping suits or suits with little cute little socks. These were £10. These were from TK Maxx as well. And we got the little socks to match. Well, cute. I think we bought two of them, I believe. Yeah. We've got the blue one and we've also got the black one because they're only £10 and you kind of go wrong. And I just love the socks. It was the socks that did it for me. And they're not a six month, so they should last a while. Um, we also did get the, is it the sleeping bag? So this is only a one tongue sleeping bag. So really it's more like a summer one. And really I need a winter one. 
Uh, so this is not a six month sleeping bag. Just got this blue one for, um, sorry, it went off again. The storage is absolutely horrific. I'm sick of it. And next one, da, 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 da. we've got another bag and another bag. Uh, so we just got some baby bath robes. But um, when they get out of the bath, we dry them away. Um, some boring sleeping shoes for us again. I do believe uh, we'll also have uh, Born in 2023 set. Um, it's a bit here, there, and everywhere right now. Woo! So you get the hat, you get the vest, and then you get the pants. Well, cute. I'll probably put them um, in that when he's born, or maybe when we leave the hospital. We don't know which one yet, but we've got, we've got a few. We've got a few. So this one, next one, we have got. The sleeping suit from Asda, uh, this one's three to six months. Just thought it was well cute, it's like the pram suit. And it was only 11 pounds, like you kind of go wrong with that. Like look how cute is that? So that is all the clothes. However, I do have some trainers. So I'm gonna show you the trainers because the trainers are just too cute. And I forgot to grab them before starting the video. So in a little night box, Tony picked these obviously, are these little trainers, I don't actually know what they are, like something, like 80s, 90s, 70s, I don't know. But they're well cute, tiny, love them. My dad was like, when they don't fit them, I want them, because he's going to put some strings around these and he's going to hang them, you know, in his car. So, that's his idea. Of what he's going to do once the baby goes out of them, apparently. And um, we've also got some Adidas Superstars. Uh, I think these ones will be the ones that I use most because they're just a lot easier to put on your feet because you can take the Velcros off and come right back. Where them ones that don't have anything, you just have to literally stretch your shoe out. And look at the bottoms, it's just look like socks type things. So they're the trainers, just thought they were well cute. So I thought I had to show you. But the last thing. Oh wait, am I? I've got a another outfit from um, TK Maxx. So this one is what's this? This one's not a six one. So we've got the Just Do It um, vest bodysuit and the shorts underneath it, and that was ten pound as well. A two piece, proper cute. Obviously, Tony picked that again. Shocker! What a shocker! So the next thing we have got, we decided to go for the Tommy Tippy sterilizer machine. So it is, I think this, is, this was £80. So you get the electric steamer, bottle and food warmer. You get two bottle bags to keep the bottles warm. You get four baby bottles, which are up to five ounces. You get another four baby bottles, which go up to nine ounces. And then you've got one bottle and toothbrush. You have four milk powder dispensers, one soother and one teeth tongue, whatever that is. So that is the sterilizer we have picked with everything in it. And also we have picked the rapid nude to feed the baby in, like it's that brand, but it's called the rapid cool, I think. So it's the newbie rapid cool, that's what it's called. And um, so that's what we have decided to use to feed the baby. We'll see how it goes. If not, we'll, we'll, we'll probably have to get a prep machine, but I know a lot of midwives will be like, no, not the prep machine, but hey yo. So yeah, that is everything Baby Boy has got so far. Obviously we do have the Moses basket, but it's not put it right now, it's still in the box. But I'm sure you'll say that once we do a nursery, a nursery haul. And so yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Any video suggestions, any questions on the pregnancy or anything like that or just anything in general, just leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye.